Hello, I'm Emer Beamer and in this video I'm going to show you my homemade charcoal chimney starter. And I'm going to explain how I made it. I don't like using fire lighters or lighter fluid on the barbecue because they can affect the taste of the food. But I'm also fed up with charcoal barbecues, especially when you're out on the beach or having a picnic, taking so long to start. So I did some research on the internet and I found that charcoal chimney starters are a very effective and efficient way of lighting up the charcoal coals really quickly without using lighter fluid. So I decided to make my own and this cost two euro to make. The commercial ones you can buy them obviously commercial ones cost about 25 euro to make. So what do you need to make a charcoal chimney starter? First of all you need a big large size um, catering size tin. In this case I'm using a recycled tin of tomatoes and I also have a recycled uh, tin from a coffee jar. You also need a couple of L-shaped brackets. They go down along the inside here and along here. And you need a piece of hardwood. In this case, I'm using a recycled broom handle and uh, just a couple of screws to hold everything in place. So first you need to remove the bottom of the tin. Just use an ordinary tin opener and remove the bottom out of the tin. But hold on to this because you are going to use this again after you perforate some holes in it to create lots and lots of ventilation. So put the um, lid to one side after you've drilled just with an ordinary electric drill, drill some holes in. Then you need to get hold of a church key and punch some holes like this all the way along the bottom, all the way around the bottom. And I have here an image of a church key. That's what it looks like. After you've drilled the holes, all, or punched the holes all the way along the bottom of the church key, you drill some holes about an inch above the perforations. And you need about four holes two on either side of the tin. I think I may have six here. There's one in there and there's another one there. So you drill these holes in so that when you pop the perforated lid back in again that has something to sit on. And then I just drilled a couple more holes just above those other screws. You can see here um, just to hold the lid in place. So I did that on either side. So there's one there and there's another one in there. Then I uh, made the handle. So I just used a couple of L-shaped brackets for the handle and the L part of the bracket goes down along the inside here. I punched three holes along here and I attached this extra sheet of tin to protect from the heat, really. It's to reflect the heat back. This can get very, very hot when the charcoals are heating up. So it's to reflect the heat back. It's to protect your hand and also to protect the handle from getting too hot. So before I screwed the handle in place, I put three holes in this tin and I inserted that and then screwed everything down and you can see the screws there on the inside and that's it my homemade charcoal chimney starter there are lots of videos on youtube showing how to use a chimney starter so do check those out and please like or share my video if you find it useful